What's going on YouTube? Maddie with Fusaro Fitness back with the whiteboard because we're going to learn some shit today about metabolic rate. We're going to keep this simple, quick, and easy to understand and let's just jump right into it. So we have metabolic rate. You hear calories in versus calories out. We're going to start off talking about the TEE, also referred to as the TDEE, -E, Total Daily Energy Expenditure. How many calories your body requires and that's comprised of four components your BMR, your TEF, your TEA, and your NEAT, which we'll discuss. First off, BMR, your basal metabolic rate. How many calories your body needs to keep you alive when you're comatose. So when you're sleeping, your body is still functioning, your heart is beating, your organs are working. All of this requires energy, so you are burning calories in your sleep. Now you also hear the term RMR, or resting metabolic rate, these numbers are not the same, but we typically use RMR because it's more practical as you're awake. There is some correlation between your lean body mass and your resting metabolic rate. So the higher your LBM or your lean body mass, typically the higher your resting metabolic rate. And there are other variables that go into that, such as your gender and your genetics, but that's what BMR and RMR is. Next up we have TEF the thermic effect of food or thermic effect of feeding. Every time you ingest food, your body has to break down, utilize, and metabolize those nutrients, which requires energy. So this 10% number that you see, 10% of caloric intake, this is an estimate. It's an estimate that's commonly used. The number varies. It's never going to be 100% accurate because each macronutrient has a different thermic effect. Protein is higher than fat, and so on and so forth. Fiber plays into it, but we use the 10% number as a rough estimate. So what does that mean? If you're eating 2,000 calories per day, 10% of that would be 200. So your body requires 200 calories to break down your nutrients. So you're actually burning calories when you consume calories. That is what the thermic effect of food means. I've done a video on the thermic effect of food talking about meal frequency and meal timing. This has nothing to do with how often you eat, how many meals you eat, and what time you eat. It has to do with your total caloric intake. Okay, moving on, we have TEA, the thermic effect of activity. What we're most familiar with and where we are convinced the calories are being burned. In the gym, during and after exercise. Whether you're doing cardio or your strength training, you're burning calories. Now, I also threw in EPOC, which is excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. People will say that if you do high-intensity interval training or HIIT training, that 48 hours post-exercise, your resting metabolic rate is raised and your metabolism is higher. It's not as significant as people make it seem. But... Just figured I'd throw that in there for some extra knowledge. And lastly, NEAT, non-exercise associated thermogenesis. This is incidental exercise. You're not intending to burn calories when you are. Like for example, I'm doing this video, I'm talking with my hands, I'm pointing to stuff. If you're sitting in class and you're shaking your leg, if it's cold and you're shivering, walking the dog, getting the mail, vacuuming or washing dishes. You're not doing these activities to burn calories you're doing them because they're things that you do throughout the day, but they are burning calories without you really realizing it. So that's pretty much a brief overview of all of this. Each of these components added together will equal your total daily energy expenditure. Hopefully you learned something from this video about metabolism and metabolic rate. If you're interested in learning more, this comes from an article by Lyle McDonald, which is linked in the more information section below giving a bit more detail on each of these components and a metabolic rate overview. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. Click that thumbs up button if you learned a little something today. And I appreciate the support as always. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, which you should be. But if you're not, don't forget to do that before you leave. Appreciate the support as always. And until next time, we'll catch you in the next video.